Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interest of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Looking at the market rundown heading into Friday, February 17th. So the S&P 500 has a bit of a double top. We did get a new all-time high, but just barely by one penny on the S&P 500. So clearly that's a double top when you're talking one penny on a $2,300 instrument. So we do still have a higher low pattern. We did still close right at the upper Bollinger Band. So tomorrow is going to be a pretty important day for the short term. If we do break that higher low pattern, we will look for consolidation. So that low is 233.887. And if we break that level, we're pretty much just going to go down the line looking at the lows of the previous days and watching to see if they act as support. So if we do consolidate, it will be normal and healthy. There were periods today where we saw some high bear volume this morning, certainly more bearish volume than we've seen in the past five days. And that did stand out, so we're going to be watching close to see if that continues to follow through with some more pullback tomorrow. For the S&P 500, in my opinion, the most important sectors to be watching are the technology sectors and the financial sectors. They have the two highest weightings, and the financial sector has pretty much been a, a instrument that's traded hand-in-hand -hand with the S&P 500 ever since the election. Clearly, the banks are loving the election of Trump due to the deregulation potential. And we're really seeing the patterns the exact same here where the S&P 500 had this higher low, lower high breakout inside candlestick essentially. And XLF has the exact same pattern over this time. So if you compare from the election, the S&P 500 to XLF, you will see that correlation I'm talking about. Weekly time frame for the S&P 500 still extremely strong. It would take a disaster day for the bulls tomorrow to lose this very bullish candlestick and to form a bearish reversal candlestick on the weekly time frame. So bulls still very strong here and on IWM, certainly the weakest of the three, but it is still holding up. We did get a new all time high here as well. The bulls did buy the dip here as well with a nice lower wick. So we're watching support of 138.21, 138.07, and the all time high is 139.84. Weekly time frame here, not as strong, but certainly strong bull break from that nice healthy consolidation, very drawn out and continuation to the upside. And last, we've got QQQ, new all time high for the eighth day in a row. That's pretty astounding that we have seen that kind of strength over that kind of period of time, but it keeps happening. We do have a bearish reversal candlestick forming on the daily time frame. A little bit of a doji, a little bit of a spinning top. And if we see a red day tomorrow, losing the higher low pattern, we will confirm that looking for healthy consolidation. 128.92 is that support. And then we'll be looking at 128.37. So if QQQ can consolidates, in my opinion, that means the S&P 500 will as well because the highest weighting in QQQ is the technology sector by far by greater than 50%. So if QQQ pulls back, it means the technology sector is pulling back, which means the S&P 500 is likely pulling back as well. So we'll watch it all. We'll check back in over the weekend. Have a great night.